hello guys welcome you guys to my youtube tutorial on this tutorial i'm going to be teaching you guys on how to make this lovely booboo -boo dress so this is the materials i'm using this is the door face for the band and the front uh, flap like flap and this is the button i'm using so now the full length is 60 the bust is 42 the waist is 35 the hip is 46 So now I've cut out my full length of my dress. That is the I added the strap two inches allowance. So now what I want to do here, I want to measure the neck. The neck I'm using three inches for the wideness of my neck. So the normal measurement, you know, the, the that stuff is coming out from the under bust. That is what I'm trying to measure. Normally the opening of that place I'm using eight inch. So I want to measure 1.5 from this side. So I will cover it to that three inches. So this is under, under bust. I'm going to be using 1.5. So I will blend it to that 1.5 at the upper part. So that's what I'm doing here. So now the under bust, I'm using 14 inches for the shoulder to the under bust. I'm using 14 inches. So from here to here, I'm using 8 inches. So I just curve it straight to that point. That's the place that that opening will be. So now, what I want to do here, I want to draft out just the normal body, the normal main body. The shoulder is 16, so 16 divided by 2 is 8.5. I'm not going to be using this my measurement. I'm just drafting it out. So the bust is 42. 42 divided by 4 is 10.5. I'm just going to recover it. I'm not needing that measurement. So should that to waist is 16? Should that to hips is 23? So now the waist is 35. I added one inches allowance to make it 36. So, so I'm using nine inches here. Eh? So the, 40, uh, the hips is 46. 46 divided by four is 11.5. I just, I don't need all those measurements there. So, Like I said earlier, I'm not needing those measurements. So now, I'm just adding my sleeve allowance to it. You know, it's a cut together sleeve. I didn't measure it, so that's what I'm doing here. So for me, I'm going to use one inch for the shoulder slope from the neck point. You just bring it out this way, the way I'm doing it here. I'm going to the damp part. The normal length of this measurement is 60. So I added extra two inches, like I said earlier, to it to turn up the lining. So what I want to do here now, I want to come up. That place, you know that there is a curve before the hip point. Uh, but now I'm bringing my own down a little from the hip point. I measure 24 inches from the down point upward. So this place now, you know my hip measurement, you just add extra five inch allowance to it. So from that place that you measure from the damp part upward, you are just, just going to curve it this way. The way I'm doing it here. Just curve it a little curve to your hip point. 
but let's go for the cutting. This is the neck. You just try to blend it up. The way I'm doing it now. So this is the two inches at the down part here. So for the front opening, I use 20 inches for the front opening. From that place that I measure 2 inches at the down part, you know there is a slit at the front. That's what I'm bringing out here. I use 20 inches. I want to launch this place, so that's the place my lining will turn up the dress up. It's a full line dress. So now I've arranged the back under the front now. So I want to measure three inches also for the neck wideness. This is three inches for the deepness. I'm using 1.5 inch. 1.5. Now we use this one to trace out the front pattern that I cut. I'm going to use it to trace out the back. In that place, this is my normal length. I'm going to launch it this way. So now this is the lining I'm using for it. So now I've cut out my lining with it. I've turned it with my lining and I've also ironed it. This is the down part I said you are going to use to turn it up the way I said earlier. So this is the front. I've ironed it up. I've used my iron to iron everything up. So this is the front slit. And what I want to do here now, you will take your back with your front together, the two shoulder. I'm going to hold it together this way. I want it to be very neat. So I will use the lining to turn it inward. Just take one of the lining, just turn it the way I'm doing now. Just I've arranged it very well. Just remove one, turn it up. So now, after turning, this is the way it is. Now what you have to do here, you have to take your tip rule. You measure around. From that center, 
you mention round to the other edge so i have 34 after measuring it round this is my 34 so i had extra allowance to heat for me to join together to the neck so i had extra allowance to heat if you like you can add three inches so now this is 2.5 folded in total, two, which is 5 inches folded in total. Two. I've given it a press together. So what you have to do here, you have to leave some allowance downward and just so round. You can leave like 2 inches downward. So now I've cut out this for the sleeve. So after sewing it this way it is i've joined it so after joining i told you that you are going to be leaving some excess at the down part so you just hold the front you arrange it very well you arrange it you lap it on each other and just sew so now i've also joined the band to the sleeve so what i want to do here now if you see the waist point it is it's looking as if is tight at the down under bust of the dress so now what you have to do you measure 14 inches that's the under bust of my of the person i'm making this dress for 14 inches so you measure it downward this way so from that center point you measure five inch to the other side and five inch to the second side so that's the place you are going to be attaching this band so this band now i've give it a press i've turned it out i use six inches for the cutting so after so it's 2.5 by the length by your desired length so that you can be able to tie it after wearing it is going to be tied from the bust from the other bust to the back so just attach it the way i'm doing now after attaching it This is the way it's going to be soon. You turn it back this way and this way. So after attaching it, see that I've turned it to the front. Now I want to put my button. This way. So I'm going to sew it on my machine. Thank you guys for watching. See you on my next tutorial. Bye.